this is an open letter to my sons. In this place called Earth, things are always shifting and changing, yes? Nothing ever stays the same. The tides of our lives ebb and flow. The motion of declining and rebirth. I'm not speaking at the moment of the flow, but the ebb. Sometimes, in order for the rebirth, one must stop and face the decline, the moment of surrender, the moment of looking deep within to seek answers when pain or anger burst forth. I have had many ebbs and flows in my long lifetime, but it's in the ebb times where I found my greatest teachers. I wish nothing but the utmost awesome journey for you. However, I know there will be times, those times of sadness, anger, confusion, and chaos. I will share how I became who I am today, which of course I am still ebbing and flowing, but have learned a few things along the way which may help you. <clears throat> For one, I have learned to feel the sadness, the grief, the anger, to sit with them and seek inner guidance. I found that I truly wanted to heal and also realized that I needed to feel it, to heal it. Secondly, I realized that revisiting my old traumas and the pain associated with them was a temporary moment in time, and that in truth could no longer truly hurt me. Thirdly, I realized that holding this within was causing me unnecessary ailments, both physically, spiritually, and psychologically. It was affecting my relationships with those I loved dearly and those that I so wanted to love, yet didn't allow for the fear of pain. And fourthly, I learned that I did not need to carry those burdens, those things I carried over and allowed to spill onto my dearest ones in my life. You. At this juncture of my life, I speak out loud my apologies for allowing those generational traumas to go unhealed perpetuating a continuing cycle. I have done much soul searching in my later years and have come to an awesome time in my life, one filled with peace, understanding, and forgiveness. Please do not allow any anger or sadness to go unchecked as I did. I know we all carry certain loads in our lives, but remember that you do not need to. I encourage you to take the time to tune in and feel those emotions in order to heal them. We always say, I'm never going to be like my parent or those that have caused us pain. Yet later on in life, see that we did exactly that. I know I did. No more of that. I needed extra help and support, and I found it. I knew I wanted my life to be better than that which hurt me. Forgiveness is not for them. It is for you. Why share this now? Because another layer of that onion, healing, has stepped forward to be healed. It brings forth tears, but also a longing to share that I wish for you this healing. As humans on this earth, we all feel. As things come up in life, and they always will, I ask respectfully, don't hold those things in. Feel it to heal it. Share with open communication in your relationships those you love and care about. Teach your children, love your children, love your relationships and share openly. 
show your children a more loving, kinder generation with less anger, less trauma, showing them open communication in all things. Last of all, as tears roll down my face, I say this. Please don't hold things in. Find a person, a place, a group, or your own inner self. Heal those wounds. Love yourself. Love your family, your children, your friends, and let go any of those wounds that would seek to destroy. Reach for that which builds you up. Manifest awesomeness in your life and live, really live, as I have finally been able to do. I love you with every spark of energy and sparkles of light within and around me. I love you, Mom.